the best thing to do is to do the edges, do all the edges, and then we fill in the middle. Right. And what I like to do is comb the, the head hair back towards the tail, because we're doing the edges now. And some people will say for using thinning scissors, um, in the salon I'm straight scissors because it's much quicker. And what we want to do is we hold the scissors at a 90 degree angle. And if you can imagine, the point in between his eyes is the middle of the circle. So where I've actually trimmed to the corner of his ear, these little ear bits are going to stick out of the circle. So we have a circle with two little ears sticking out. So the first trim I do on, the, on a Westie is actually the sides of the head. So hold your scissors at a 90 degree angle, come behind all that coat with the blade flat on the body, and I scissor. I don't want to go as far as the ear. So scissor just before the ear. Right, now the, to create this chrysanthemum effect, a chrysanthemum is obviously a flower, <laughs> but the petals are shorter at the bottom, going longer at the top, and this is what we want to create with the westy head. So obviously the coat must be shorter at the base of the body, coming up longer into the head furnishings. So by combing the coat down, hold the dog's head at a, a nice relaxed angle, and I say, having your scissors at that 90 degree angle, you will create this chrysanthemum effect. Come straight along, past the, over the throat, we come down into the other side. Excuse me, Oz. Keeping the blade closest to the body and scissoring not quite up to the ear. So nice and short at the base. Good boy. Slightly shorter on the neck. Right, now to do the head furnishings at the, the base of, of the skull here. I'll just turn it around so you can see better. Come on, Oscar. Good boy. Good boy. Sit down. We want to find the base of the skull, so feel with your comb, come down, and there's Oscar's, that's the base of his skull. We want another half an inch to an inch behind that line. So slightly bring the coat up, and then with your thinning scissors, graduate the coat into your neck furnishings. And we're going to Continue that line behind his ear. I would just get hold of the hair there, just to pull his ear out of the way for safety. And I've got hold of his, underneath his jaw there, to keep his head still. We don't want to see any visible scissor marks. It should be a, a nice graduation from one length of coat to another on the City and Guilds exam. They will look for your, your thinning work. Also how you handle the dog as well safety reasons, at competition work as well. It's always safety first. I'll just hold that 
clear out of the way. 